Morning guys, uh, back again for another cheese vlog. Uh, it's three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm on an yet another work trip. I'm in uh, Indianapolis, so uh, while I'm over here in the US, uh, I thought I'd uh, take advantage uh, and try some of the, the, the local cheeses. So uh, I went to the uh, local supermarket, uh, it's called Whole Foods, really good supermarket actually, did some really uh, nice food just generally all round and they had a massive, massive cheese section as well. Now all the cheeses in there were, what I expected to be honest, is the, the, the vat packed, uh, mass produced kind of cheeses that didn't look particularly appealing, all the kind of rubbery, uh, nasty stuff, yet they did have a small section just around the corner from there uh, that had a load of artisan cheeses. Now, a lot of the ones admittedly in there were European cheeses, French cheeses, uh, etc. But there were probably four or five uh, really good looking local cheeses as well, including some quite unique ones with uh, that had been uh, rind washed with things like raspberry ale, uh, most of them admittedly were, were sort of uh, copies, if you like, of, of things like mozzarella. Uh, but this one here, the really good ones that I like the look of, uh, uh, have, have come from uh, the, the Wisconsin area. Uh, so this is a cheese from Uplands Cheese. Uh, the name of the cheese is uh, Pleasant Ridge Reserve. Uh, now the, the label uh, describing the cheese said it's a, an alpine style cheese, a bit like a Comte. Uh, and it certainly looks like that. It was a big round uh, wheel of cheese with this uh, hard rind around the side of it. Uh, and it certainly looks very buttery and creamy uh, in, in the middle, just like a, it look, does look very, very similar to a, to a Comte. Uh, now, last night I, I stole a knife from the uh, the, the restaurant because uh, I knew I'd wake up. It's another three or four hours before breakfast, so I thought I'd tuck into the the, the cheese to uh, to tide me over and do this review in the in the process. Right. So the appeal of the cheese is great actually because uh, they make two types of cheese at Uplands uh, Cheese, um, and they manage their own herds by the look of it as well. Uh, they make this uh, comp style cheese uh, in the summer where the cows are grass fed and then they make another style of soft cheese over the winter when, when the, uh, the cows are fed on their winter feed. So this is the summer cheese where the, the cows have been out on the grass uh, and uh, I just love the whole way that they've managed the farm, they know where the milk's coming from, they know what the herd has eaten. Uh, and they're they're making the cheese themselves all all on site. So I love I do really like that. Of course, this comes at a price. This was this cheese was actually twenty five U S dollars per pound. So that's sort of fifty five U S dollars per kilo. So it's it's one of the most expensive cheeses I've ever seen. But obviously, the flip side of that is you you know you're getting an artisan product. Uh, and and uh, you know where the milks come from and the, what what the cows have been fed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's it's a really appealing cheese. It looked great. Uh, the the round the cheese and the wrapping, it just all looked really classy. Uh, we're going to score these cheeses as normal. So from appeal or an appearance point of view, uh, I'm going to give this 18 out of 20. I've only scored it down really because of the price. Um, uh, it, it ticks all the boxes for me, it looks great, uh, the provenance is great. So the nose of the cheese, it's, it's, I've left it out uh, uh, for, for the night while I was uh, trying to sleep anyway. So it's, it, even though it's a, a very mild cheese, it's, it's actually got a really good aroma to it. It's really, really buttery. Very, very buttery. Smells very grassy as well. Uh, uh, and and really quite sweet as well. I, I really like the smell of it. It's a, it's very delicate. It's not a pungent cheese, but it's 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 got a really nice, pleasant, buttery kind of aroma to it. Uh, so I'm I'm going to give this a 17 uh, out of 20. 
Now, uh, for the for the taste, just going to cut this rind off here. It's quite a hard rind. It's a bit kind of uh, cardboardy, but but looks good. So it's a very delicate cheese. Very, very nice. It's very, very Moorish, actually. Uh, maybe because I'm really hungry um, and breakfast isn't open for another three hours or so. But I, I'm pretty sure this block's going to be gone uh, by the time we get to six o'clock. The taste is superb. Again, that buttery uh, flavour coming through. Uh, a little bit sweet and a little bit herbaceous and, and grassy again, so it pretty much tastes what it, uh, what it smells like. Uh, I, I love the taste. This, this, is, this block's going to disappear in no time. I'm going to give this an 18 out of 20. Now the texture, uh, the texture's slightly odd. It's very different with respect to a Comte. A Comte or the Alpine cheeses tend to be very milky, creamy. This has got a bit of a grainy kind of... Uh, uh, texture to it as well. It, it is creamy, it is soft, but it's got this ever so slightly, it's, it's, it's not like the crystallized stuff you get on some cheddar that you can really taste the crystal, it's just, it's a little bit grainy, that's the only way I can really describe it. I quite like it actually, it's not, it's not unpleasant like some of the graininess you find in, or crystals you find in some of the other cheeses, I think this really works. Uh, I'm I, I'm going to score it quite highly. I mean, in my books, there are no no really really bad cheeses. So uh, we're going to give this a 17 out of 20 for the for the texture. I, I like it. Overall, I think the balance of the cheese is great. It looks good. It tastes good. It smells good. It's quite expensive. I like the provenance of it though. Uh, it's a really really good cheese uh, and I knew if you're over in the US I'd encourage you to pick one up. I'm going to give it a 17 out of 20. So overall my spreadsheet here is telling me uh, that this is a score of 87 uh, out of 100. Uh, fantastic cheese.